The News 4 Jack's I team is hearing from a Jacksonville family who is demanding answers because their loved one died after police detained him, and we've just learned two police officers have been placed on leave. Relatives say 26-year-old Jalen Mays died this morning at a hospital. He's seen here in this photograph with his mother. Mays was detained Tuesday evening at a food store near Lane Avenue on the west side. The sheriff's office just released a statement about the case about 45 minutes ago. News 4 Jack's I-Team investigator Vic Michalucci is working to get answers to the questions. He's joining us live from downtown with new information. Vic? And Tom, as you can imagine, this man's family members are very upset. We started investigating this case around 10 o'clock this morning, shortly after that man died. At 522, we received an official statement from a spokesperson with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office confirming that they do have an investigation into the case right now and that the two officers involved in the response are now on paid administrative leave, which is standard procedure. They did release the names of those officers. They are S.R. Maddox and M.J. Reddish, both on paid administrative leave pending the results of this investigation. Now, earlier today, I spoke with the loved ones of this man who died. They say they want answers and justice. A family's pain almost unbearable dealing with an unexpected death. He meant the world to all of us. Now, Jalen Mays' mother telling us she can't imagine a world without him. He didn't live a perfect life, but he... He was perfect to me in my eyes. Loved ones say the 26-year-old was at this food store on Lane Avenue Tuesday. He got into an argument and Jacksonville police arrived. He resisted when the police got there. Um, it was reported that he was hogtied. They don't have many details after that, except that he ended up in the ICU on life support. He died a day later. The family raising concerns about what they saw on his body bruises, scrapes, scratches, um, different markings on his head that was swollen in different areas, indicating that some trauma took place. They say officers told them he died from substance abuse. They disagree. Whatever it was, I'm sure it could have been handled a whole different way. He, he was supposed to be detained a different manner. They're now asking for an autopsy and an explanation. I went to the store where the incident started. A clerk told me there is surveillance video, but detectives took it. What happened? That's all I want to know. What really happened so that my family, his kids, could have closure? Now, a JSO officer tells us that the man made a suicidal statement before his arrest. He was combative. He was kicking and fighting with the officers. They were trying to Baker Act him for his own mental health, and they did say that they called rescue immediately as soon as he started to have some issues. He was having trouble breathing, but when he went to the hospital, they were under the impression that he was stable. They only found out about his death around the same time that we discovered it when the family members called us at News 4, NAC, News 4 Jacks. Now, JSO detectives currently do have some evidence that they're going over from surveillance from that Jiffy Mart, as well as body cameras from the officers. As soon as we get more details, we'll pass those along to you. We're live outside police headquarters downtown. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.